Who the hell? Oh, this this ball tossing thing. I said had been broken. Um, uh, when they were about to close the garden, they had a Legends ticket. A Joe tricky ass JoJo want to throw the damn ball behind his damn back. He threw it to me. I'm like, what the hell? What the hell? Havlicek runs, takes the ball. Goes into Larry. Larry Joe Burr makes a shot. It was it was interesting. I think Jan Volk um, told me to come back, and they had all the legends coming back, and uh, it was just interesting being there. The ice had, had been broken um, uh, when they were about to close the garden. And um, so I got a chance to talk to Jan Volk, and, and Jan Volk was like, look, we'd love to have you back in this organization, but what we need you to do is need you to go back and apologize to Red. And I was like, oh, yes, for real, for what? And and so, yeah, then it was like, you know, you, we need you. We'd love for you to have, you know, back to take a job with the Celtics. And, and But this is what you have to do. So it was, it, and that's when I had to go down to Washington, D.C., meet with Red and his wife. And uh, that's really the first personal one-on-one -on -one conversation I think I'd ever had with Red Arback. It was just me and him. That's the first time. Every time, every other time, it's always it had always been with, you know, a couple of people, my attorney, or or a couple of players. I had never been individually where it was me and Red talking. That was the first time ever. I remember him putting his arm around me. He said, "Sometimes when you're young, you you don't do smart things." And uh, <laughs> and the next thing I know, I always remember those words, arm around me, and said, "I forgive you." What? <laughs> <laughs> and I learned to shit my mouth that day and just accept the job and say, thank you, Mr. Arback, and move on. We would like to ask you something. I was like, what? Say, we'd like to know if it'd be okay if we retire your jersey. Max, how does it feel to be back at the Boston Garden? Everybody stood and gave me the standing ovation. And I thought that was the coolest thing of being recognized as a as a, a part in this organization.